So good afternoon and your host for today's webinar is myself. My name is Shireen and I'm the client manager for Australia and New Zealand region and we will be joined by Thomas Jew who is our client director for Australia and New Zealand. Today we'll be discussing some topics uh, quickly and then having a quick look at our demo to see how we can address some of the issues that have been raised. So a quick introduction to our webinar today, as mentioned, we'll be looking at mobility and versatility. What does it mean? Also, what are the current challenges uh, within the disability and community care sector? particularly in the operational side of things and in response to various issues uh, recently. What do we mean by versatility? What do we mean by mobility? And the role of technology um, within all of these, addressing the issues and facilitating some of these ideas and concepts. So let's start off by looking at what some of the challenges and community care providers have been facing. Uh, one of the most obvious ones at the moment is uh, the COVID-19 pandemic, which has had a real uh, impact on operations. Uh, challenges such as start at staff absences due to illness or quarantine, uh, participants or customers have had a uh, experience of real impact um, because they've had disruptions to their services, uh, routines, uh, elements of isolations and the follow-on effects on their mental health uh, from all of this arising. There is also a real shift towards a more dynamic way of working within the sector uh, over the last few years of remote working. Um, it's kind of been forced upon to staff and provide us whether they're ready for or whether they were ready for it or not, um, because people couldn't go into their offices or workplaces. Um, we've had to reduce workforces and place restrictions uh, due to ensuring the health and safety of all those involved. Uh, another one of the challenges, funding. So with the complexities of funding, uh, some areas of ensuring quality has been cut off, such as uh, staff training, which leads to some organisations uh, to be forced or to choose out, choose to cut out training. Uh, the ways in which some providers uh, traditionally monitor services and quality are becoming unviable due to the limited funding sources for extra personnel, uh, whether it is in the disability care sector, mental health or the ageing sector. Uh, the current funding cannot sustain the old model of managing quality work and services being provided, which requires us to be more lean when it comes to organisation organization and management of these services provided. Recruitment and retention. Another issue is recruitment and retention. Um, from the two issues we uh, identified above, the current workforce is stressed and exhausted at the moment. Uh, it is difficult. Um, uh, we, we're losing a lot of talent uh, from support workers up all the way to managers and directors, um, staff not being to uh, be as effective to deliver and respond to services. Everyone is feeling like their hands are tied and are uncertain during these times. Unsustainable work systems. Um, so from this, workplaces have been looking at new ways on how to adapt. Um, a lot of service providers are still using paper-based systems or forms in conjunction with some electronic systems. These uh, work methods or systems are not really dynamic enough nor inclusive to deliver services how we would like to, uh, especially when we need to meet practice standards which are outcomes and evidence-based. So let's look at mobility and versatility. So in terms of operations, how can we react to the following challenges and what do we mean by that? So versatility is really about the care and support that's being delivered, uh, how it's being uh, organised, how it's being monitored and how it's adaptable to different environments um, from services ranging from uh, supported independent living to day programs to in-home care. The same level of uh, operational quality and service delivery quality uh, is vital regardless of which work environments you are currently working in. Uh, mobility. So is more about whether care and service is delivered, how and where is managed and organised. Uh, it's about the flexibility between environments, 
So for example, you might start off a day assisting and supporting uh, a participant or a customer in areas of medication and support. Then you may assist with some household tasks and go straight into the community for social care activities, uh, skill building activities, visiting family and friends, and all of this uh, within a day, um, within your shift time. So that is where the versatility of being able to, how to change the support of where it's been delivered to mobility of where it's being delivered to. Common factors. Uh, so some of the common factors that apply, whether you are looking at new ways to overcome these challenges, um, uh, of providing flexible supports and services are obviously communication. Uh, we all know that communication is key. We need to ensure that your service delivery remains effective in all those various uh, different environments while ensuring that quality and compliance is incorporated into everyone's day-to-day uh, -day work practices. And in what way they choose to uh, organise and manage the services, um, the service providers have to ensure that they're encouraging and maintaining inclusion and person-centred approaches during um, uh, us providing these support services. So where does the role of technology come in? So what is the role of technology in achieving those aims? Um, so obviously this being a webinar by Spirico, we'll be looking shortly into iPlanet but shifting from a different mindset, uh, an older way of working. Um, we, you will have data-driven quality and compliance, so all the information from monitoring can be captured um, and we can maintain and drive continuous improvement through this data collection. Uh, Real-time live monitoring of the services, uh, you can identify issues, organise your operations effect effectively and efficiently, uh, which also enables a provider to be responsive to these changing operational uh, issues that arise. Uh, with technology devices being integrated in schools, hospitalities and workplace, um, nearly everybody nowadays have, has a mobile phone or a tablet uh, or some form of uh, electronic um, a device which allows different ways of communication from text messaging to instant messaging which leads to vast improvements of communication. Uh, technology also supports the, that adaptability and versatility to working in different environments. So ensuring that we go are in different environments, we can still uh, provide that same level of quality support and service. And with the cloud-based systems, people are no longer tied to their workplaces. Um, they don't necessarily need to be at their tables to be working on the support plans. They can be doing it with the client, um, customer, sorry, empowering our workforces. Uh, your frontline staff can get out and provide these much needed supports while being able to access those plans easily, uh, being engaged with the participants, their family circles and supports and so forth. Um, our frontline workers are the ones that are on the front, um, front foot, so obviously it's very important for them to be actively involved in contributing to these plans. Technology obviously uh, can assist with um, cost efficiency with those type budgets, uh, but can also assist with organization or organizing and monitoring services, saves time for managers having to pop in you know, individually into various sites um, and things like that. But on a larger scale, um, having that accessibility is far more cost efficient in regards to managing your services. Uh, technology also provides a culture of inclusion um, and ownership with our participants, families and friends of support. So how does iPlanet meet these challenges? How can it make provider options more versatile and more mobile? Um, how can it improve communication and inclusion? 